Hi, my name is Amy and tonight I'm going to be showing you how to paint uh, branches for cherry blossom tree. I'm going to do this in a two-part series starting out tonight with the branches and then adding the blossom on the next video. So I'm going to start by using a cleaned off Pilsner beer glass and I'm going to use warm white and burnt umber together. My favorite paint of choice is the Folk Art Enamels, if you haven't seen any of my other videos. And those are made by the Plaid Enterprise Company. I'm going to start at the bottom and just start by adding a branch that will actually go around the cup. But you can actually you know, start off by adding some side branches if you want. And you can clean up your branches as you go if you want. Just add like little smaller ones that can come into the glass. If you feel like it's not opaque enough, you know, you can go over it again if you wish, you know, if you choose to do so. Just adding little branches as you go. It's really not, not difficult to do. You make some that go further out, some that are actually going to go around the glass. And I just like to use the two colors together to give it a little bit more interest. And it's not a very a very big glass definitely um, is, is narrow so it's pretty easy to cover it in a short period of time. I am using a flat brush. Now when you're painting painting branches and all, you know, just be a little whimsical with it. You don't have to be real precise. As many of you know, after watching a lot of my videos, I'm not real precise with things. It's pretty much um, just kind of do it. Whatever makes you happy. And then you can, of course, as I always say, you can go back and wash it off if you're not happy with it. Just keep that in mind. It's one thing nicer with working with paint on glass is it is very easy to go back in and uh, touch it up or wash it off and start again if you want to do so. You know, basically it's up to you. I like to use the flat brush for this part of it. Just kind of curl them around, make them intertwine because as you know on a tree they're not really just particularly straight or curved or whatnot. They kind of go where the wind blows. And as you notice, I'm kind of adding on to the, the branches that I've already painted. And you can give them different tips if you want. I've done this this uh, design on actual wine glasses too. Makes for a very pretty, pretty design on a glass. Like I said, you can go back over your branches if you want, if they're not to pick enough for you. And just keep in mind, we will be adding some floral buds and leaves to this. So you don't have to be too worried about spots because you can always cover them up with the leaves if you wish, or with the actual blossoms. So that's something to keep in mind too. And this kind of painting design would be good for men and women. It's not too feminine for a man to use, especially if you're thinking of gifts for the holidays. A lot of what I'm, what I'm showing you now can be easily painted by anyone. Really, I think the, the degree of uh, 
I don't know, I guess the degree of experience that you need really isn't uh, very high with this particular design. And that's one thing I'm, I try to actually show people designs that they can easily master. Even if they can't right off the bat, maybe it's something that down the road they can do a little easier than some more difficult patterns. Anyhow, like I said, you can just go back in and go over some of the, if you don't like how the detail looks, just go in and add to it. If you want to make the lines more opaque, just go into it and add. I mean, you can actually, even at this point, maybe blend them a little more if you want so they're not so stark. So it's just purely up to you. you. Mess with it as much or as little as you want. And then like I said, just keep in mind that you will be doing some leaves and florals over this um, when they once it dries. I mean you could do it now if you wanted to, but I kinda like to wait till it dries a little bit and then start adding the blossoms. Alright, there you go. Pretty easy, right? Pretty darn easy. Alright, I'm going to leave it, leave it go at this and I will be back soon with another video to show you how to do the blossoms. Thanks again for stopping by. Have a good evening.